So hello students, uh, today we're going to talk exclusively about your entrance examination and how you should focus and study and prepare your physics and chemistry and bio and maths whether you're giving NEET or JEE whether you're in the 11th or in the 12th or whether you're a dropper also, right? But yes, sab ke pehle mujhe batao kaise hain aap log? How are y'all? How is it going? The whole 11th standard scene, the whole 12th standard and if you're if you're giving a chance to your NEET examination by dropping the last year and by doing all over again, kaisa hai? how is it? Right? And tell me your experience because we're going to use your experience to advise and counsel other children about the mistakes that you did and we could help somebody more. So do let me know what is it like being in the position where you are. This video is a general video for the students of 11th. 12th and even the droppers. I'm going to share with you general tips, specific subject tips. I'm going to share with you general motivation and I really want to know how you are doing. So well, let's begin. Practice is a very big thing and practice is the biggest thing in your career and success. So some kids say, sir, I know. But knowing is not enough. You have to do. <laughs> it's like some people know how to swim, but they don't, they don't swim. Some people know how to drive, but they don't drive. Knowing is not enough. So, kabhi kabhi na you just read. But that reading is useless unless you're willing to practice and solve. So, you read a sum, you read a numerical, you read a, a derivation. Kaam ka nahi hai na? Don't read. Be willing to do it. Practice, practice, practice. Kamiyabi neat me or je me agar chahi aapko to teen cheese ati avashak hai. What is that? Tell me. That's right. Practice, practice, and practice. Now, while you practice, it's important that you know what you're practicing. That means if I tell you, tell me physics me kitna chapters hai, you should be able to close your eyes and you should be able to tell me, sir, physics me itna chapter hai, pehle chapter ke itna hissa hai. In the second subtopic, there are further subtopics. See, in that closed eye confidence, you should be able to see a detailed mind map of the whole syllabus. Unless and unless you're willing to do this, kuch kaam ka nahi hai. <clears throat> if you're in the 11th standard, Koshish karo ki on a daily base, you are solving 50 to 70 MCQs of your important three subjects. 50 to 70. If you are in the 12th right now and after the board examinations, you will be, you should be willing to solve at least 120 MCQs on a daily base. And if you are a repeater, uh, if you're giving it one more chance, if you're a dropper, then make sure that you're giving 200 MCQs on a daily base. Pure saal mein. Before giving your final NEET examination, before giving your final JE examination, you must solve 30 papers. 30 papers of NEET, 30 papers of JE, whatever is important to you. Remember I told you it's a generic video for JE and NEET. So 30 MCQ papers you should solve. Unless you solve it, it's useless. So when I say solve, there are, there are a few things that you should do. Step one, solve. Step two, get it corrected. Step three, see the mistakes. Step four, study the mistakes and then come back to the next paper. So some students, you know, they sit and they read the papers. Kya fayda? Some people will do five papers together. Kya fayda? Unless you evaluate and examine the mistakes. Or papers karke kya fayda mujhe patao na. So you must learn, you must relearn, you must re-relearn and you must go ahead. But if you're going to read the same questions five times, kya fayda? If you're not willing to do more variations and more variety, what is the whole point? Tell me, what is the whole point? Paper pen technology is the best technology. So uthao paper, uthao pencil, uthao pen and start solving, start practicing, start revising. Be willing to invest that time. Practice is therefore so important. If you're not willing to practice, it's useless. And, and be sure that you're doing a variety of questions, a variety of questions. Now, it depends what's the score that you're expecting. If you're expecting 80% success, then sit textbook karke jau NCRT. If you're expecting 85 to 90% success, then you have to solve more books. Like in physics, you have to go to Irodove. In chemistry, you have to go beyond. You have to practice more, solve more, and do more variations. Most importantly, what separates from a good student from a great student? What brings greatness in a student? Greatness mahanta bache mein ye cheez leke aata hai ki usne uska khud ka private notes banaya ki nahi. That means every time he's learning, when he comes across a question, a concept, a formula, he will transfer that into his book. Every time you learn something, kuch acha laga, kuch must laga, kuch challenging laga, kuch important laga, kuch probable laga, isko shift karo yaha se apne personal private notebook mein. 
ताकि एग्जाम के दस दिन पहले ताकि हर एग्जाम के दस दिन पहले आप ये पचास बुक नहीं पढ़ रहे हो यू नॉट रेफरिंग टू बुक वन बुक टू बुक थ्री यू नॉट रेफरिंग टू एनसीआर टी यूर रेफरिंग टू योर पर्सनल नोट एंड वेन यू रेफर टू योर पर्सनल नोट यू एग्जैक्टली रिमेंबर वॉट यू लर्न एंड यू गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रीलर्न दिस इज वॉट क्रिएट्स अ ग्रेट स्टूडेंट यही आपका महानता में इट्स कॉन बी अग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर टू योर ग्रेटनेस इन सक्सेस इन लाइफ इन पर्सनैलिटी एंड इन स्कोर एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू हैव दिस ड्राइविंग स्पिरिट इन साइड टू गेट एडमिशन इन द बेस्ट कॉलेज ऑफ द कंट्री टू सक्सीड इन द मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द कंट्री so students ask me you know in the comment section sir which book to refer uh, and to some students i reply also uh, there, there there's already a video which we made about the books to refer so we tell them for physics study these books for mcqs refer these books for theory refer these books but you know which is the best book your book will be the best book the book in which you transfer the importance from the books to your book will be the best book right so make sure that you follow us and subscribe on youtube help us to spread this message come to come to kora subscribe follow come to facebook follow we answer a lot of questions of these children over there now remember when you're practicing what is most important is the skills and your ability to solve questions what is more important than solving these questions is your mental cognitive ability to understand what these questions are to know what are they trying to ask and to be able to express in a way that what the board moderator really checks you for not just knowing what the right answer is but also knowing what the wrong answers are that will help you to go deeper and deeper in the subject once you understand the concept i'm telling you physics or maths or chemistry or bio or kuch bhi ho it's easy to score students do not score for few reasons first reason samajhta hi nahi hai second reason purpose hi nahi hai zindagi mein थर्ड रीजन पता ही नहीं चला साइंस लिया क्यों है तो जब मकसद नहीं है गोल नहीं है तो करेगा क्यों ना वाई आर यू गोइंग टू पे अ प्राइस फॉर विच यू डोंट सी द वैल्यू सो इसीलिए ये जरूरी है दैट यू टेक अ ब्रेक अ टेन मिनट ब्रेक एवरी डे टू रिमाइंड योर सेल्फ वाई आर यू डूइंग वॉट यू आर डूइंग एंड यू नो वॉट द बेस्ट वे टू स्कोर इट्स टू हेल्प अनदर स्टूडेंट इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज द मोमेंट यू एक्सप्रेस press the concept to somebody else you revise it internally one more time there is no better learning than than helping somebody else and to help that concept drive down to somebody else you know bachche log aajkal bahut smart hote hain ye padhai karte waqt music laga ke padhega khana kha ke padhega chal ke padhega tehel ke padhega late ke padhega ye sab padhne ka galat tarika hai unless you are willing to sit on a chair use a table use a pencil focus 100% clear focus no faltugiri no tamja man behlane ke liye kuch kha ke pad raha hai music sun ke pad raha hai tv chalu rakh ke pad raha hai dil behlane ke liye ye sab khayal theek hai galib lekin padhai waisa nahi hota hai padhai keval aur keval pura concentration ke sath hota hai unless you put in your full 100% not 99 100% कुछ काम का नहीं है सो बी श्योर टू पुट दैट हंड्रेड परसेंट चैप्टर वाइज सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब वेन यू वेन यू रेफर टू एमसीक्यूज और थियोरी क्वेश्चन और वट एवर क्वेश्चन यू रेफर ना आपको यह स्लॉट कर लेना चाहिए कि दिस क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू दिस चैप्टर दिस क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू दिस चैप्टर ताकि जब आप चैप्टर को रिवाइज करें आप चैप्टर के साथ वो क्वेश्चंस को भी रिवाइज करें जो प्रॉबेबल है फेवरेट है बहुत बार आया हुआ है ये हमेशा आपको पता होना चाहिए कि इलेवेंथ में आपका बुनियाद है सर्टन थिंग्स व्हेन यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इन ट्वेल्थ इट्स प्रॉबेबली बिकॉज इलेवेंथ में आपने कैंटीन में ज्यादा वक्त बिताया होगा या इलेवेंथ में कभी आपने शायद उनके साथ ज्यादा वक्त बिताया होगा सो इलेवेंथ में फाउंडेशन है इलेवेंथ के फाउंडेशन के ऊपर पूरा ध्यान देना एनसीआर इज की एनसीआर टी और सिलेबस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है उसके अंदर ही फोकस करना एंड वो धार है वो हथियार है मेक श्योर दैट यू वर्क हार्ड विथ टेस्ट योर सेल्फ लाइक आई टेस्ट योर सेल्फ लर्न री लर्न वेटेज इंपॉर्टेंट है हम पढ़ते हैं लेकिन पढ़ने के पहले पता है क्या ये टॉपिक सात माह के लिए आने वाला है ये टॉपिक आठ माह के लिए आने वाला है दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट सो यू शुड नो वॉट यूर स्टडिंग वाई यूर स्टडिंग एंड देर फोर यू विल नो हाउ टू स्टडी दैट इफ यू डोंट नो वेटेज कितना है यू विल जस्ट गिव एनी अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम फॉर इट राइट सो so give time based on the weightage and because of weightage you will know what you can omit so there are a lot of things which you can omit and still get good marks but for that you need to know the weightage practice the art of patience and persistence so you got to be patient with your life and with your studies 
ये मुमकिन नहीं है कि आप बैठो और ग्रेविटेशन मोशन ऐसा हो गया हो सकता है नहीं हो हो सकता है डिटर्मिनेंस नहीं हो बट बी पेशेंट एंड बी परसिस्टेंट पेशेंस इज अ वेरी गुड टूल इन देंड्स ऑफ अ ग्रेट स्टूडेंट बिकॉज इज पेशेंट टू सक्सीड एंड इज परसिस्टेंट मतलब यू विल कम बैक टू इट सो देर आर टाइम्स वेन यू वॉन्ट टू गिव अप डोंट गिव अप वेन यू फील लाइक गिविंग अप स्टे अ लिटिल मोर स्टे अ लिटिल लॉन्गर अ लिटिल मोर दैन वेन यू फेल्ट यू हैड टू गिव अप दैट्स ऑल्सो अ वेरी बिग की थोड़ा और रुक जाओ ना गिव अप तो करना ही है ना यू विल लेट गो बट स्टे अ लिटिल मोर चैलेंज योर सेल्फ फाइट द इंटरनल थिंग रेगुलर प्रैक्टिस इज दे फॉर इंपॉर्टेंट सिक्स आवर्स टू नाइन आवर्स इफ यू आर इन ट्वेल्थ लाइक इफ यू फिनिश योर ट्वेल्थ एग्जामिनेशन नाइन आवर्स If you are in twelfth, maybe four to six hours. If you are in eleventh, regularly four hours. This is going to be a key determining factor in all of this. Time management is important. वक्त को सही तरीके से plan करो अपना खुद का वक्त कि मैं इस चीज को सिर्फ आधा घंटा दूंगा मैं Facebook में सिर्फ सात मिनट बैठूंगा मैं television program सिर्फ पंद्रह मिनट देखूंगा you know plan करो और जिद पे उतर जाओ कि मैं ये time planning जो मैंने किया है मैं उसको वैसे ही करूंगा so plan do the plan check the plan and do it again unless you check how do you know what you've planned is right so plan again by checking what went wrong and that and that my friend is the key to success concept clarity is very important nahi samajhta na jaake baitho teacher ke sath teacher ne aapko agar waise hi wapas samjhaya to teacher ko bolo miss you explain the same way i didn't understand the first time how will i understand the second time zid pe utrao samjho समझो क्योंकि ये करियर आपका है ये लाइफ आपका है एंड इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू इट हियर व्हेन विल यू डू इट ये जिद बहुत जरूरी है द जील टू सक्सीड परसिस्टेंस प्रैक्टिस कंपल्शन टू सक्सीड टू गेट एडमिशन इन इंडिया बेस्ट कॉलेज सो दैट आई विल बी प्राउड ऑफ मेकिंग दिस वीडियो बिकॉज वन अमंगस्ट यू सक्सीडेड वन अमंगस्ट यू सक्सीडेड आई थिंक माई टाइम इज वर्थ देन इवन इफ वन अमंगस्ट यू सक्सीड write back to me and let me know how was this journey what did you learn how much are you willing to fight and how much more are you willing to give all the best children remember life is once so just succeed